हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सफलता बैच क्लास 58 सो आज हमारी 58 क्लास है इससे पहले की सारी क्लासेस आप प्लेलिस्ट से जरूर ले लीजिए आज हम लोग एक लीगल मैटर लिखने वाले हैं इसके अंदर अभी तक हम लोग स्टार्टिंग में स्लो स्पीड रहती थी बीच में हायर रहती थी और लास्ट में स्लो रहती थी पर आज हम स्टार्टिंग के अंदर एक सौ पर लिखेंगे फिर उसको स्लो करते हुए एक के ऊपर जाएंगे सो so, इसको स्टार्ट करते हैं गेट रेडी थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट The High Court directed appellant to appoint a new arbitrator and further directed the arbitrator so appointed to conclude the arbitration proceedings within 6 months after the expiry of 6 months both the parties extended the time to conclude arbitration the arbitrator failed to publish the award within the extended time respondent filed an application before high court for a declaration that the mandate of the arbitrator is to be terminated a perusal of the arbitration agreement revealed that the arbitrator had power to enlarge the time to make and publish the award by mutual consent of the parties but the same has not been done para therefore without the consent of both the parties to the dispute the arbitrator had no power to further extend the time beyond that which is fixed it is an admitted position that the respondent did not give any consent for extension of time thus the arbitrator had no power to further enlarge the time to make and publish the award and therefore his mandate had automatically terminated after the expiry of the time fixed by the parties to conclude the proceedings arbitration is an efficacious and alternative way of dispute resolution between the parties there is no denying the fact that the method of arbitration has evolved over the period of time to help the parties to speedily resolve their disputes through this process and in fact the arbitration and conciliation act recognized this aspect and has elaborated provisions to cater the needs of speedy disposal of disputes para the present case illustrates that in spite of adopting this efficacious way of resolving the disputes between the parties through the arbitration process lingered on for a considerable length of time which defeated the notion of the whole process of resolving the disputes through arbitrator the contention of the appellant therefore cannot be justified that since the dispute was highly technical in nature it had to be dealt with elaborately by the arbitrator and that he was justified in being late the high court correctly fixed the time for the arbitration to be concluded within a period of 6 months from the appointment of the fourth arbitrator considering the time that was spent for the arbitration process prior to his appointment being a technical and complex issue para even assuming that the arbitration process involved highly technical and complex issues which was time consuming even then it was open for the arbitrator or for the parties to approach the court for extension of time to conclude the arbitration proceeding which was not done either by the arbitrator or by any of the parties as correctly noted by the high court in its impugned judgment there was no cogent reason for the delay in making and publishing the award by the arbitrator he already had the relevant materials at his disposal and could base his findings on the observations made by the three arbitrators who were appointed prior to him para it has been correctly observed by the high court that the arbitrator had become 
functions officio in the absence of extension of time beyond to make and publish the award after the said date the arbitrator had no authority to continue with the arbitration proceedings in the absence of any statutory period prescribed under the act for rendering an award the direction of the court to conclude the arbitration proceedings within the time prescribed by it would not make an award passed beyond the time so prescribed null and void stop so ye humne ek dictation aaj thoda alag way se likha hai humne isme starting mein 120 wpm par likha फिर 110 पर आ गया फिर 115 पे फिर वापस से 105 पे हमने लिखा और लास्ट में इसको 110 पे लिखा तो काफी सारे फ्लक्चुएशन के साथ में मैंने ये डिक्टेशन आपको लिखवाया है अब आप इसको ट्रांसक्राइब करिए अपनी गलतियों को चेक करिए उसके बाद में कमेंट करके आप जरूर बताना कि आपकी कितनी मिस्टेक्स आ रही है इस टाइप से फ्लक्चुएशन से हम जो डिक्टेशन लिखते हैं एग्जाम में यही डिक्टेशन जो है वो फ्लक्चुएशन के साथ आते हैं और वहां पे दिक्कत आती है इसलिए मैं आप लोगों को पहले से ही फ्लक्चुएशन के साथ डिक्टेशन लिखवा रहा हूँ सो so, आज की क्लास यहीं पर एंड होती है आपको कोई भी डाउट है क्वेरी है तो आप उसको पूछ सकते हो कमेंट करके या फिर पर्सनली टेलीग्राम पर भी मैसेज कर सकते हो तब तक के लिए थैंक यू एवरी एंड गुड बाय